There was like, you know, about like 50 people up front looking at you, like, you know, and that kind of thing. What was the reaction? Uh, this girl, when I was coming, she was like, I don't think this is appropriate. She's like, <laughs> <laughs> like, it's not appropriate here, yeah, like, she's like, new day, like, you know, doing all that stuff, and I'm not appropriate by, by drama. Yeah. Who, who did a performance, actually, that this is the only a person who helped in a per performance that, that uh, oh, girl yeah. who was a nude and painted. Oh, yeah, yeah. So she was uh, just a model kind. Of, I was on the ladders going around and she was scared that I'm gonna fall from the ladder. <laughs> and she was like kind of going protecting to you. protecting me. And she was doing the her job and she was protecting me. And then when I come down, only what I was when I will look them, I saw that girl is she is a nude totally but painted. Uh, oh she painted God. her, so she was a totally onions and all that, that, that like a uh, piece of wood. Mm -hmm. And I took that and I and I put inside a, like uh, a black paint which I found on the sides here from the tube. And I was putting my my hand like. All the time in my head is uh, uh, something better. I, yeah. I don't know if you heard about Jerry Ewells, man. That's an American photographer who uh, who did uh, uh, who did manipulation with uh, with a negatives and, uh, and a photographs and so on. And, to... and I was really <laughs> what is that? So so. Just... <laughs> This is the first one, right? Yeah, the, some of them came out already. 
Okay, and for, in the yard there. And for how long they've been uh, underground? Eleven years. Eleven years. Yes. So you've been surviving in Canada for eleven years. They supposed to be assembled now. The new sculpting pieces. I'm gonna wash them more. If you guys can help, just place them in the backyard there on the left side, next to each other. On the grass? Yeah, on the grass, just on the left. There is on the right side as well some of them. But let's place these new ones all on the left side. Okay, here. I'm not holding the camera. Just one. Congratulations! Has you ever skied on an objective? No, I never. No, I never. Couple of bones, plastic ones. It's going to be in a big hole, <laughs> so we can put some. <laughs> Somebody is ready. Hi. Hey, he's doing the dishes too. Well, this piece probably did belong to some other piece, so it's a kind of like sad that I cannot from the piece which is broken made another piece because I had that experience about the explosion of the piece so. Oops. this one is breaking they were not uh, up on the porch no on the here. So, what, as an artist, uh, what you should say about plastic and arts? Uh, plastic is material which is today material, so this is uh, exactly what this company did. So they were experimenting how they can make the better plastic for to use in uh, some of the industries. Yeah, but what do you think about plastic? The plastic is material which is a chemical material which uh, people discover for some reason to make some kind of things to be useful but uh, the original plastic I think was uh, designed to take the place of silk for parachutes in the Second World War okay, here we are. and uh, they came up with nylon so that they could uh, they, they couldn't get enough silk for parachutes there was some plastic before that and Bakelite. Bakelite and cellulite. So is it Dupont Company killed the marijuana uh, plants? Is that the same thing? Plastic and uh, natural things like for, for the soul? Dupont, that's an interesting question. Uh, Dupont Paint and Chemicals was um, transplanted from, uh, from France. And uh, I guess at one point they lived near the bridge, DuPont. And uh, DuPont himself learned the uh, chemical formula for dynamite, Lavoisier. And uh, from that, he came to the United States, started making synthetic dynamite, 
and uh, and they started using lacquer paints and uh, they were they were involved in the paint and chemical industry right from the beginning. Uh, one good connection with plastic is uh, going to be hard for me to say, but they did they did um, use dynamite and uh, lacquer. A nitrocellulose lacquer. So I guess we are happier with the plastic today than uh, without. I love plastic. I actually collect some plastic artifacts. Uh, plastic toys. I, I love the old plastic. I love the baker lights. Yeah. But uh, they, they make it better today. They make it more stable. In the old days, there was lots of swirls that would, you know, mix the colors up, and I think they didn't like it. But today, you see the mixed colored plastics in the in the molds. Swirls and colors. Jarko, what do you intend to do with these pieces? Are you going to make some exhibition or? Take it away. I'm gonna assemble them in different uh, kind of pieces now. Yeah. And there is a market for them for sure. Oh, uh, you're trying to sell them? I'm not trying to sell them. I'm gonna sell them. Oh. Yeah. Do you have the agents, like Me Magazine you. or somebody? Yeah. Uh, you have a price. Me Magazine. Yeah. Me Magazine is just a uh, here organizer for this event. Yeah. He but introduced you last time. Uh, the, so the, here is the here is the boss. <laughs> Thank you, Me Magazine. It's really nice. Finally. Oh, Zlato, no. Zlato, 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 Zlato. out from that piece now and there is a one similar piece on that table which I didn't bury which was kind of already assembled so you can take a, a look over there on the table that's a pretty similar like a this one yeah the color is uh, different because like you know over the time I would be trying to do different kind of things so uh, the, this, this plastic and this plastic is pretty much the same plastic but uh, how I get this color is that I put this piece into the water so it was hot and I was throwing it to the water after I took it from outside from the machine so, uh, so unfortunately I had to stop working in that company because the company was closing down so This, this period. Cool. Hello, hello. <laughs> <laughs> On your head. My head. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> this is the best one. This is the best. Как где ты узнал карты за то? Как он мне может Речите ми само кошти ви да да знам ой ако ставим у видео вас двое ви сте най Ви сте луѓи кои сте 85 години у љубави, а упознали сте се со кога сте били тинејџери. А речете ми, представите, кој сте ви? Па добро, не важи кој е, Жика Мазнич. 
Ож, а ви сте жи, кај ја... И јас сам брат. Не мајте ништо да му кажете, па се ќе да стави на YouTube да не било сред. Па стави ќе, не, 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 па ова се дај, е, дај поли гост. Ем знају уметност, ем поштуј уметност и поштуј младост. A posebno ljubav. Vidim, gospođa i dalje zaljubljena. Još voli Žiku. E, promenit ću moje ime iz Dušana u Žiku. Pa nego. E, pa znači to prolazi. Hajde. Važni prijatelj. Ćao, ćao. E, pa Žara, čestitam. Završio si jedan krug. Jedan krug je završen. Da? Sada ide drugi krug. Tako da ćemo pobediti sa ili bez nas. Pobeda je naša. So, your father is digging something. Yeah. I don't understand exactly what, but... Do you know what's going on? He buried... He made them out of plastic. It's all melted plastic. I know, <laughs> and that's really close. I don't hear you, bro. Well. And you're gonna hear it that close? Um, yeah, it's melted plastic that he like melted different uh, electronic devices and other things <laughs> to make sculptures. And he buried them, and now he is digging them up, and it's really cool. And different. And Is it cool for you? Yeah, I think it's really interesting. I didn't know before. He never told me about this, and I found out today. And it's really cool. You found out today? Well, I knew he made sculptures, but I never knew he buried them. I never knew that, and that he's digging them up, and he has so many. It's really cool and interesting. And so, okay, <laughs> no, no, but um, <laughs> you're from the artistic family, arts, music, and. And uh, besides the beauty which you have, <laughs> what kind of uh, what else instincts do do? you would like to um, approach in life? Well, I am a dancer, so I dance, I do ballet, jazz, modern, hip-hop, ballroom, all that. <laughs> and uh, I do photography. Oh, you do photography? Yeah, I go to an art school, so I have a lot of different subjects for art. Those are my two majors. So I hope that we'll, we as the critics, we don't have to wait long to for you art. to be on stage. Yeah, I have a show in February. Yeah. <laughs> February. Good. It's going to be a good show. <laughs> Digging and being and its continuation yeah. process. Yeah, the continuation of... <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it. I support you. Okay, Thank you. Bye. Bye. Run <laughs> away. Dupont family. They had so much money, and they wanted to reinvest outside of dynamite and paint the chemicals. And they, they, uh, for some reason, were major shareholders in uh, Indian when the depression hit and they went down there and reorganized the company and took it over and then they started using their uh, DuPont Dulux um, nitrocellulose These were the male or swear with us, yeah?
So this plastic was an experimental plastic done by Samuel Strapping Company back then and uh, all the things what was what, supposed to left that company had to be buried under the ground. This is what they told me. I was working there as a general labor. So I was cleaning machines and I was uh, grinding the, the old strapping belts to the grinder. And all that kind of little pieces which is grinded has been placed in a big uh, bags. And then the truck will come and take that bags. And uh, they will bury them somewhere in the ground so the competition company doesn't gonna found what they use in that plastic, which is for me kind of stupid. But they let me use it, their machines, to make that pieces. So now I can find the competitor's company and give them their stupid plastic. Why did, uh, did you bury it in, uh, when you came to Toronto? I didn't bury them when I came to Toronto. I was already in Toronto. I was working here, as I said. Like I'm here for like about 14, 15 years. So uh, I did make them in a in a second year. I came to Toronto. So about the four years I was moving that pieces around. And uh, at the moment I made them, I was living in. A, apartment so when I moved here I had a hard time really to preserve them because I had to do so many renovations you see this one is a broken so it's not good so the whole point was uh, physical right not mental well, uh, pretty much mental then physical because uh, as I explained, uh, it's kind of mentally you decide to do something, not physically. Everything has to go through the head. So, interesting stuff about this plastic is that when I worked with that plastic, I was experimenting as well as this company was an experimental company uh, to see how different kind of plastic can react. So. I didn't know what is going to happen exactly with uh, all that kind of things. So, in, uh, in one day I would be making a few of them and uh, uh, I will be leaving the place. I will load the car with a few of them and then I will be driving on the highway. In one moment it was explosion and I thought it's a my tire. So I pulled the car. And I looked around, but there is uh, all the tires were like their normal, nothing happened to the tires. And then I uh, looked through the window and I did see the uh, one of the pieces were explode. So the when I saw that, I was kind of sad because the piece was uh, nice and had a nice, beautiful uh, uh, balloon on the middle of it. And then. Um, well, I sat in the car and I came home and I was kind of sad, as I said, like tomorrow day I went to the job, come back home again, the same things, like, you know, and then uh, the third day uh, after I wake up, I decide actually a good idea that that piece, which was exploded piece, take back to the factory. So I took it back to the factory and I made another piece from that piece. So I kind of installed that broken piece into the new piece. Which, which is actually uh, amazing uh, uh, that uh, what I got on the end is uh, the piece which is right now in my, my uh, room upstairs, but like uh, it's three-dimensional piece. This, these pieces are pretty much two-dimensional. So, so Jare, does this happening has to do anything with uh, Wall Street and uh, I don't see police around here. Uh, this doesn't have to do anything with the Wall Street and I'm not politically involved at all. 
with anything, and I don't want to be into that uh, area at all. So uh, all about that is that the art doesn't have to do anything with the politics. I don't care about politics. I'm just and how do you feel now after 11 years pe uh, touching the pieces in the in the mud, digging in? I feel good. Your hands probably getting cold though. No. 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 <laughs> uh, I, I put the I put the hot water. I'm a <laughs> That's good. Ooh. More than just a pretty face, but, uh, eh? You know, uh, the Serbian we do, do have uh, one expression. I'm not the one who discovered hot water, <laughs> but I know it's existing. So. Gary. I remember I remember um the 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 still there, I don't think